Well, hey there, and welcome to this Lesson of the Church video series. Today, we're continuing our trek in using different devices to add some more advanced shooting techniques to our arsenal. And today, we're going to explore the Steadicam and the Shoulder Rig. Starting with the Shoulder Rig. A shoulder rig is a stabling device that holds your camera and sits on your shoulder. Think of it like a portable tripod. It can perform most of the same movements and boasts most of the same capabilities, but you don't have to set it up each time you move. Using a shoulder rig is very straightforward. Basically, you hold the rig steady and you point the camera at what you wish to film. Now the shoulder rig works by using its points of contact as a means of stabilizing the camera and the main point of contact is the shoulder, naturally the shoulder rig, where the rig rests and the more expensive rigs even have weights that go on the back that will counterbalance the weight of the rig itself. And the second points of contact are the two handles. These kind of work like a tripod arm and these also help stabilize the shoulder rig. Now some rigs you can attach a viewfinder to the camera and this becomes a third point of contact and now you have a very very steady means of operating your camera. Another nice feature of using a shoulder rig is that you can add several additional capabilities to it if you would like and the first of these is the follow focus. A follow focus is a turning ring that uses a gear to focus your camera's lens. So instead of having to reach around awkwardly to the front with a shoulder rig, you can place your hand where it naturally goes and focus at the same time. Another feature that can be added to the shoulder rig is the matte box. Now these are the big boxes that go out in front of your camera by the lens and they look pretty sweet. Matte boxes function by blocking out the sun so you don't get any flares and they also give the option of adding different filters to your lens if your lens doesn't already support that. There are several downsides to using a shoulder rig though. The first and foremost being they're just not that useful because if you have a tripod and you're competent at shooting handheld, you're not gonna find many uses with a shoulder rig that those other two things can't account for. In fact, there was only one application that I could think of where using a shoulder rig would be far superior than shooting handheld or using a tripod and that would be shooting interviews on the street. And the reason for this is just a little bit of storytelling because if I'm shooting an interview on the street, I like to have just a tiny bit of movement to my shot to add that little feeling of spontaneity and the fact that I'm running and on the go and that I've just met this person. If I'm using maybe a tripod, it's gonna be so stable and static that it takes away from the kind of on the go spontaneous feel of the shot that I would be trying to convey. And you can only get this with a shoulder rig. But the great thing is that a shoulder rig is stable enough that the person watching the shot will notice that it's moving a bit but it's not going to distract them or take away from the shot at all. Another bonus is that a shoulder rig is fairly compact. It sits on the shoulder like a news crew and it's not very intimidating. Now if I was using a tripod with maybe a boom mic and a light, this would look very intimidating to someone I just met on the street. But a nice shoulder rig setup can be very discreet and less intimidating so that if you're interviewing someone on the street, you can get some nice answers from them without them feeling uncomfortable or awkward in any way. So if your church does a lot of shooting on the street interview type of things, consider getting a shoulder rig there are a bunch of cheap ones you can get. I'll link to some of those and they're just really great for that. But if you're not going to do that, don't consider it. To review, shoulder rigs are good for man on the street interview style shots, stable shots that require quick setup and shooting on the go, and adding capabilities like a follow focus or a matte box. But shoulder rigs are bad for walking. If you're trying to walk with a shoulder rig, it's going to be very bouncy and very shaky. They're also bad for anything with a great deal of movement because a shoulder rig is quite stable and stationary and so a shoulder rig quickly becomes redundant if you already have a tripod. And the second device we're going to talk about today, the Steadicam. The second super cool camera device that we're exploring today is the Steadicam and now we're getting into some very cool, some very fun stuff. A Steadicam is a device that does its best to balance a camera in the air or suspend it from any solid grip so that when you move with the Steadicam it gives the illusion that the camera is floating through the air, suspended. Steadicams are used all the time in movies for filming. Basically anytime you've seen a camera moving that looks like it's in mid-air and without any kind of shake, that's likely a Steadicam. Now there are different types of Steadicams. The ones that are used in big budget movies like I mentioned are these giant contraptions that strap to your body. It's like having a second person on you that you operate and you just become one with the Steadicam. But for you and I there are budget options that use just a single counterbalance weight and can be used handheld. 
The most important thing that you need to know about using a Steadicam is that it's very difficult. It's not exactly easy. You don't just pick up a Steadicam for the first time and become one with it. You're not a pro the very first time. You're gonna find it quite difficult to balance it and to keep it steady and to get some nice, smooth, fluid shots. The, the first time you pick it up, it's probably gonna feel awkward in your hand. It's gonna tilt back and forth and you're gonna find it a little bit difficult to get that nice, perfect balance to become one with the Steadicam. When you look at your footage of a Steadicam from the first time, you'll probably see a lot of jarring and shaking. It won't look nearly as smooth as you're hoping. You're also going to likely to have a sore arm because you have to hold the Steadicam in front of you and it has the camera weight plus the counterbalance weight and holding your arm out like this, it gets kind of tired. But as you continue to practice, you're going to get more skilled and you're going to start to see your shots become very, very smooth and beautiful even using a budget version. Now, don't fall into the trap of thinking that you need a more expensive Steadicam. Don't think that just because your shots don't look so great that it's because your gear isn't high enough quality. You don't need to spend an extra thousand dollars or anything. The budget versions are fine. They just take a lot of practice. Steadicams are good for adding movement to your films. They're good for following people while walking and they're great for moving through a scene. Now, Steadicams are bad for still shots because they're almost impossible to hold still. Well, that's all for this lesson of the church video series. We talked about the applications and uses for steady cams and shoulder rigs. And in the next lesson, as we continue in this advanced shooting section, we're going to be talking about sli sliders. Yeah, that's right, sliders and cranes. So stay tuned to that. If you're not already a subscriber of Pro Church Tools, make sure you join us, join the family, join the tribe. It's free. You get access to the Pro Church Toolkit. So do that, and I'll see you very soon in the next lesson.